It's clear we need different choices. Different things work better for different people and different patients choose different kinds of approaches. So I think it's going to be very welcome if we have another choice like this. Perhaps psychedelics are a bridge between psychopharmacology and psychotherapy. MAPS, the Multidisciplinary Association for Psychedelic Studies, recently completed the first phase three clinical trial investigating MDMA for the treatment of post-traumatic stress disorder. It was a successful trial. I'm happy to say that, and I think people will see that in the results. The second phase three trial is underway right now at 13 sites in the US, Canada, and Israel. It's an interesting kind of drug trial because it's the drug is only administered three times a month apart in conjunction with psychotherapy. And so the psychotherapy is a very important component of it, we think. So it'll, um, we think that it'll have some kind of risk evaluation and uh, management strategy, or REMS, which requires it to be used in the right setting with, along with therapy, not just the drug administration. If they have another positive trial, MDMA could potentially be rescheduled in the near future uh, for the treatment of PTSD. This is uh, potentially groundbreaking because currently uh, individuals with PTSD undergo treatment with prolonged exposure therapy, cognitive processing therapy, and also with SSRIs, but our treatments are not good enough. People are always asking, uh, well, if this works, well, why, why does it work? And of course, we don't know the answer to that for really any psychiatric drugs in a complete way, uh, but we do know a lot about what MDMA does. MDMA decreases activity in amygdala and increases activity in prefrontal cortex. So that would fit with really what we see in the sessions that people tend to have be less likely to be overwhelmed by fear and anxiety when they talk about their trauma. They're more able to process it in a you know higher kind of processing. I think another very interesting um, observation, uh, largely by Robin Carhart Harris, Imperial College London, um, has done a lot of imaging studies and he has this idea of relaxed beliefs under psychedelics because he's finding that the top-down prior beliefs that we carry around in our cortex um, can be very overweighted, especially if there are beliefs like the world is a dangerous place, um, I'm no good because I did these things in war, or whatever those prior beliefs that are so problematic are. It seems to, by, by virtue of changes in the default mode network and the way the networks relate to each other, it appears that there's an opportunity for people to have, to lighten up those prior beliefs and let new information from outside and from the limbic system kind of get through. So I think that's part of it. And there's still a lot more to be learned about the various aspects of why it may be helping. Psychedelics have a lot of promise and are potentially bridging the gap between biological psychiatry and psychotherapy. The gap has been something uh, that psychiatry has been trying to resolve and I believe that psychedelics may provide us with a great understanding of how biology influences the mind and it may offer great insight into neuroscience.